going to uh, Frankfurt, uh, you made a mention before it's more white collar. What makes it more white collar? It's just higher price points. Like let's dive into Frankfurt now. Yeah, absolutely. Frankfurt, I am the most excited about. Um, spent a lot of time here as a kid. My my stepdad was the police chief for about 25 years. So as far as like community, I'm way more involved uh, most of my life in Frankfurt. Actually just moved back about a month and a half ago with my wife, um, bought a house uh, downtown Frankfurt. So I am a little biased as well. Um, but uh, Frankfurt, out of all of them, had the most explosive growth. So back in 2000, they had about 10,000 people. Uh, in 2010, they grew to almost um, 18,000 people. So 10,000 to 18,000, like they had 75, 80% growth. I had to double check and triple check that stack. So I'm like, that is insane over a 10 year period. Um, since then has significantly cooled off um, from 2010 to 2020, there's about 14% growth. But again, that's like double the national average. So still growing. Um, very fast. Yeah. Where, besides the growth, what else has you excited about Frankfurt? Like, are you seeing developments there? Are you seeing yeah. what else is, what else is making you say, Hey, that's out of my three here. I like Frankfurt the best. Uh, so it, it all comes down to um, the downtown area and the village. I've met with the village many times um, because I'm downtown Frankfurt. Um, I'm trying to pick up some, some property. Um, the city owns everything. So they somehow, and I, I haven't figured this out yet, they have um, the uh, right of first refusal on all the downtown property. So if somebody goes to sell, they have to go to the city first. Um, so they have been buying up these houses. They've been tearing them down um, and they're just, um, they're waiting for the right developer. So I talked to the city um, about a month ago and he said, you know, we're not in the business of making money, but we are in the business of control. So what they want is they want um, to create that energy. They want mixed use. So um, I border a the biggest lot in Frankfurt. It's about a 1.3 acre lot. And selfishly, I'm like, hey, I want to want to buy that and have a giant yard and then someday develop it. But uh, they will not. You know, they won't let me do it. They they want a developer who's going to build a two or three story building, restaurants on the bottom, uh, either office or residential up top. Again, they're, they're trying to build that, uh, that destination center somewhere that people uh, come and they, you know, they can spend a day. Uh, the other thing is they do a great job with, with activities down here. Um, down in, in, in downtown Frankfurt, they have, uh, they have the farmer's market every Sunday. They have car shows every Monday. Um, they have an annual fall fest that, that uh, brings about 300,000 people to the area. Um, Tons and tons and tons of stuff. Last night, they had uh, some kind of wine stroll. Um, I looked out my window. There was a, a couple hundred people dressed as witches, and they were uh, walking from restaurant to restaurant um, sampling wine. So they, they always have something going on. Um, and just, you know, the growth and, and the, the appreciation in the area has just been um, pretty awesome. 